Okay, I've learned a lot since the last experiment, so I thought I'd update. Firstly, I've learned that you you can do this with other pieces of metal uh, and have it on without touching it. This is the LED on. It's connected to my aluminium toroid, um, which I was showing yesterday, but I'm not touching it this time. And the LED is on. And I'm now able to take readings for it, which is good because we can get some measurements. Um, this is running on a volt AC going through that uh, thing and I can show you that because I've got my multimeter here now if I touch it the light goes out but I'll show you the multimeter reading one oh, sorry, hold on. there we go hope you can see that one volt okay that's what the aluminium toy gives me now the good thing is I can stack this aluminium toy up by just connecting it to my two graphite sheets now the graphite sheets tend to give me one volt each. I'll show you that because you will get three volts altogether. One second. Okay, now the toroid is connected to the two other sheets. The light, I'll just show you, it's on, certainly. And the reading, three volts AC. Okay, now here's the really cool part though. Why not let's connect this up even further and get a brighter light, because it's not that bright at the moment. If we connect this now to the bed and the bed is quite a big chunky piece of metal and i hope you can see the light is certainly brighter and to check the voltage because obviously we want to know how much is going through there let's have a look there we go nine now if i touch that because i have touched the bed and the graphite sheets and the aluminium toroid if i touch any of them it goes up about another three volts to about 12 volts ac um so i thought that was really quite uh well quite interesting to see them all stacking up together and i thought it would interest some people because they'd understand that they can't they don't need necessarily they may not have the graphite ink well you don't need it to get it working actually if you're patient but um, this is not the same as yesterday. This is now on an Avramenko plug. That's where you have the two diodes going round in the same circle. They're IN4148 diodes, I think. And it's uh, just, it, the diodes go round in a little circle and then it's no problem to get going. But I couldn't get it going today on the, uh, just the bare LED like yesterday. And I assume it's because it was a thunderstorm and that that it is picking up atmospheric and that's the only idea i could come up with because i just can't get it going today with anything with the bare led um but anyway it's, it's definitely going with the avramenko plug and it's going nicely so i thought i'd share that with you and uh yeah hopefully we can try and work on this and get some get, get it picking up some more it can certainly be stacked up as you can see the encouraging thing i suppose one thing more thing i'll say about these plates about the conductive ink is you know that doesn't take much space i suppose if it when they're on top they don't seem to work so well i'll quickly show you that in fact um let's take off the bed and let's take off the toroid and i'll show you them on top and see if we can get put it should be 0.2 but it may be just 0.1 there's a light so it's definitely on and now let's see what it comes out as. Okay, point two. So we could stack them on top of each other, you know, and that that's not anywhere near as necessary as a bed, which is about six volts. So you can get six volts out of a bed, but that's a lot of metal. metal. Um, with the conductive ink, we won't need so much space. or <laughs> And we could just, uh, I think it's the height, you know. I haven't tested these downstairs yet, so I'll do that a bit later. Okay, thanks for watching.